<laughs> All right, today we're going to talk about a specific syndrome, which is a combination of a cranial nerve 6, which causes a turning into the eye, esotropia, and an abduction deficit with an incompetent esotropia, and a 12, which causes the tongue to deviate. So as you know, the tongue muscles protrude the tongue because it's balanced. So if you have a weakness of one twelfth nerve, the good twelfth nerve function muscle will push the tongue towards the weak side. So it's like pushing a wheelbarrow. If you lose your arm on one side, the wheelbarrow will go towards where the arm dropped. So the combination of a 612 has really only one localization from a single lesion. That's right here. Hypoglossal canal is at the base of the clivus, which is like a slope. That's what that word means, clivus. So you can imagine skiing down from the dorsum cilia all the way down to the hypoglossal canal. And the sixth nerve arises from the pons, exits the root exit zone, and rise up the clivus. So the combination of a 612, skipping the in-between numbers, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, means you have a midline lesion at the level of the clivus. Most common lesions in that location are chordoma, chondrosarcoma, metastasis, meningioma, rarely plasmacytoma, clival lesions, very short list for what it could be radiographically and clinically, and 612 is the way it comes to us. So the combination of a cranial nerve 6 and a cranial nerve 12, that's tongue deviation and diplopia, localizes to clivus. Common things are common, chondroma, chondrosarcoma, meningioma, rare things in that location. And you should know that sometimes it resolves spontaneously. So even if you have a six nerve palsy that resolves, that sometimes is still a clival chordoma because the lesion causes disruption of the blood supply and it's got cystic degeneration and other features that could make the six come and then remyelinate and go away. You need to think about 12 in that setting by asking the patient to, to protrude their tongue. And if we see the tongue come out and it goes, It'll go towards the weak side. There'll also be atrophy of that side. And we can see that atrophy on an MRI scan as denervation atrophy. So in the 612 syndromes, we're going to be looking for denervation atrophy. In the lateral rectus, the muscle will be smaller. And in the tongue, half the muscle, the tongue muscle will be small and be in infiltrated by fat. And we can see that on the MRI scan. And that finding is called denervation atrophy. So in a 612 syndrome, we're going to be looking for denervation atrophy in the tongue, even though the lesion is in the clivus. This goes by a name in the literature, Gottfriedson syndrome. Gottfriedson, even though what Gottfriedson described was not at all what this is, and so I just prefer 612.